So, hello and welcome to a new tutorial here on Visual Effects Hive Evolution. This is Mike the Houdini guy and today I will guide you through some interesting asset around grain explosions. So as you might know Houdini comes and ships with a whole bunch of great possibilities to use grains inside of your pipeline. Here's some result of what this asset and preset actually can do and it's pretty affordable and very good for different sand impacts, explosions, dune impacts and all the fancy stuff that gets kicked off when something hits the ground. So when you open your preset here we first see the input objects right at the beginning and they pretty much define the way the emitter of the grains is kicking off the forces that are inside of the system. So I'm using here the rubber toy and it then gets into a mountain to pretty much distort our impact and import geometry and we have then here the sand source where the sand is pretty much created. The detail can be changed in the point separation. It's set to 0 0.035 and we have a packing density of 1. And they are close together and create this impact effect. So you can then later on change the noise for the normals. You click here on the display normals and you see how they are sticking outwards and pretty much define the speed and velocity of our grain impact. So you can change the, f the frequency here, the amplitude, whatever you need for making your element interesting. We then have here the fourth ramp with some VEX code. And you also can specify if you want to have the sand more of a wet look, like when it's when it's uh, got rained or is on a beach or something like that. And you then cache your source down on on your hard drive and can then later on jump right in into the sand sim. So here in the sand sim you can pretty much create the look of your sand explosion. For example we can use here the pop attract where we have the force scale of this sand system in a particle pop environment. And here you can pretty much see how our source is pushing the debris and all the sand elements far away from the sender. And this gives you a lot of control about the detail and explosion design you can use with this great asset here. So it's kicking right high around and imagine a rocket or a bullet is hitting the a street, uh, uh, a beach and kicking off the sand here. Pretty amazing stuff what you can do with Houdini and this awesome asset. You always, you also see the clumps here, those sticking together constraints of the grain elements. 
and this was is the result of the wet sand attribute so next to our noise node we have the force node and the force node pretty much gives you the ability and possibility to make your grain interacting to a special influence of an axial force and a spiral force. We can also change the direction and use some vortex force to make it even more interesting. So it's a lot of fun to play with the settings and getting different results in a pretty fast amount of time. And this is what makes Houdini so powerful with all the procedural approaches and the different settings in your notes here. As you can see, we have the emitter here and the debris flying up in a spiky, in a spiky way. And it's always good to make some flipbooks to see how your simulation is coming together. So here's the result of what this setup has done so far. Pretty cool element when it comes to sand impacts. And when we have cached the sand sim here in our file cache node, we can do some post creations like duplicating the points to a higher number to make it even more detailed. We then compute that velocity, doing some cleaning and caching everything in the post sand sim. Always remember that the caches of Houdini are written out in BGU or BGU.sc or in SIM files and they can become pretty large. So always make sure you have a great amount of hard disk available. So we here have a volume warp that is creating a velocity field for us and this velocity field then goes into our smoke source because we want to also add smoke to our simulation. So we set our geometry output path. As you can see it's bgeo.sc, the simulation file format of Houdini and I click the load button and save to disk and this way we will see the result right after the caching. So in the meantime while this is caching I want to show you some examples of some rendered elements from the sand asset here. It's available on the website here digital alchemist.com product sand minus two and we can also watch some featured videos here where we can see the results you can pretty much get with this great preset. So we have small impacts and we have pretty cool blasts and it's also very cool to create elements for um, blue screen productions where you need to do some composition of the element inside your movie or project or even game. So very different appearances, very different looks. 
So definitely check also out the other products here on the web page. We offer fire tornadoes packages for different approaches. Uh, Houdini Sun Acid from Bogdan Lazar and you can see here pretty much the end result of this acid and can be used in a fairly high amount of different tasks and approaches. So I would really recommend checking out some of our assets that can really help you making things more easy for your production like also this tree generator here we have some samples and results from Steven Sillock and you can see here like also in the previous tutorial about the tree asset how everything comes together so after caching our smoke them we now can continue with the smoke simulation and I'm here inside of the smoke simulation DOP network of the dust tool and you can see that we have here our pyro solver we reduced the grid with the gas resource fluid dynamic we have some wind and some other forces that give a nice appearance to our smoke. And we see here the top import field, our smoke simulation in one frame. And you can imagine how this is coming all together. And I now will simulate the smoke sim cache with the smoke sim ver uh, version 1 cache. Everything is also flagged out here, so you can see accordingly which node is doing uh, what in the, um, in the specific terms. And let's cache this also out. Here we go. Again. So the smoke is done caching and we will see the end result pretty soon. And always keep in mind that this is just one of infinite possible end results you can create with this great asset. So it can reach from small impacts to middle ones to heavy ones, big ones. That really depends on the need of your project. So as you can already see, we here have a very massive sand impact with a lot of smoke and trails and grain elements. So ladies and gentlemen, here is the flipbook end result of our dune sand or even snow impact result. Pretty amazing stuff. I really like it cool how the smoke is billowing out from the spikes intending and showing a very large size of this impact may be created by an iron cannon from Star Wars or a Terminator flagship from Terminator now in cinema So ladies and gentlemen, here we have another view of our grain sand impact element and you can see pretty much how the smoke is coming up very thick and very below. So in the next chapter we will then render out this explosion here to learn what it takes to make some nice rendering for this element. So I hope you enjoyed this little lesson here as I did and wish you a great time. So thanks for watching, stay tuned, take care, stay healthy. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.